on August 21st, Noah died as a result of fentanyl poisoning. He was murdered by a, a drug dealer selling counterfeit Percocet pills. The pill he took contained eight milligrams of fentanyl, which is four times the lethal, lethal dose. That was Brandon Dunn recounting the death of his 15-year-old son at a House hearing on the border issue. Noah was one of more than 70,000 Americans who died from fentanyl last year. A drug produced largely in China, then smuggled into the United States over our open southern border. And how bad is this crisis? Well, last year, the DEA seized 50.6 million fentanyl-laced fake prescription pills and more than 10,000 pounds of fentanyl powder. That's enough to kill more than the U.S. population. Here now is that grieving father you just heard from, Brandon Dunn. Brandon, I started crying when I saw your testimony as a parent uh, of almost now three teenagers and everyone out there who judges anything that happens in anyone else's family, I, 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 my heart breaks for you and I applaud your courage in speaking out because as we're looking at what's happening across the world, sometimes we forget about what's happening right here in our own country. Your message for the country tonight. Thank you for having me on, Laura. Um, our message with the Forever 15 Project is, is a pretty basic one. Um, it's to spread awareness of what's going on in this country with fentanyl, because most people are unaware. Uh, we were unaware up until just maybe a month or so before Noah's passing. And a lot of people think it can't happen to my kid. I've got a good kid. You know, they do the right thing. And we felt the same way. Noah was a good kid. You know, Noah was an athlete. He made good grades. Um, you know, he was, he was not, we would never have expected that to happen to us. Um, and I came up here with just to spread that message and to represent the families that we deal with since this happened, whose message is is pretty clear, um, and that message is there's a problem with this coming into the country, and oh, there's we have a an problem. open border, Brandon. Brandon, yes, yes, your son, your son is gone. He's 15 yes. years of age. So many yes. others, you know, near near where where I live. I mean, it seems like I'm reading about something every other day. Um, and we have an open border. I don't care what anyone says. The border is essentially open. If you want to cross into the country, you can come in, and most people are staying. Exactly. And the cartels are taking advantage of that. Um, we don't have the security that we need at the southern border to prevent not just this drug, but all drugs from coming into the country. And like I mentioned before, the, the families that, that we work with all you know, said, go up there and tell them that there's a problem at the border. It's, it's broken and it needs to be fixed. I want you to respond to something uh, that was said by a congresswoman uh, at yesterday's hearing. What I find particularly pernicious is the attempt to conflate the issues of migrants seeking legal asylum through our legal processes with the very real scourge of fentanyl trafficking. Overwhelmingly comes through the ports of entry in trucks and cargo ships, not on the backs of migrants. Brandon, your response to that? Well, it's, you know, just another diversion from the truth, really. I mean, despite how it's getting here, it's getting here. And actually, not much of it's coming through cargo ships. Mo almost all of it is coming in through the southern border. Well, she's a sitting congresswoman, and apparently she's not aware of the fact that we have a fentanyl problem at the border. Brandon, well, uh, thank, um, thank, yeah. <laughs> one of the well, one of the other witnesses um, also didn't seem to think there was a problem, which I find hard to believe since his county had 64 deaths, I believe, last year from fentanyl. So, no, well, Brandon, I, I don't we, know. we we thank you for your courage, and again, our deepest sympathies to your family. 
All right, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.